Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. It is Sunday, July 4th, so to everybody in the U.S. and those of us like myself that are from uh, the U.S. and living in other countries, happy 4th of July. This is also my retirement anniversary date. So I figured I'd pick July 4th to be my independence from work and uh, make it easy to remember it. <laughs> so today what I wanted to do is I've got uh, 10 of my favorite uh, PSA graded uh, baseball cards for players that are currently still playing. And uh, I also, We'll do another video later on of the 10 of my favorites that I have for retired players. And then also uh, baseball or basketball. Sorry. I have uh, a few basketball ones too. So I'll do that later on. But today I wanted to go ahead and uh, just kind of show off a bit the, uh, the ones that I have. I don't have a ton but I do uh, have a few and I enjoy them very, very much. And then I will at the very end talk about a giveaway that I'm gonna be doing. Um, probably do the giveaway Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, and then uh, get it in the mail uh, later on this week. All right, so first off, uh, this guy, I've got, I love this guy. I have a few other cards of his to send off, but uh, mm -hmm. there's only one, not an issue, but uh, one disappointment. But this one is going to be, probably already saw one down there, uh, Shohei Otani. I have a few of his cards that I have not sent off yet. This one's graded a PSA 9. I don't have one of his rookie cards in a 10. And that is so disappointing to me. But uh, I do have uh, a few more to send off. Hopefully I'll be able to get a few more down the road as well. But uh, I have uh, stood by this guy ever since the Angels picked him up, even the last couple seasons that he uh, did not have the best seasons. But boy, he's, <laughs> he's really lived up to his hype so far this year. Now, can he continue? Throughout his career, that's for us to find out. Time will tell. But uh, this year, he he is something else. So that's uh, my first one. <clears throat> Don't know if I'll have enough room for all of these but on the screen, but we'll find out. Next one. It is one of the tops now that I picked up when he was uh, in 2018. Uh, Babe Ruth and Shohei Otani, PSA 10. So it's not his rookie card, but I do have uh, about four more of these. I had bought 10 and uh, gave a few away, but uh, I think I even maybe sold one or two of them, but uh, I still have four of these and I'm not going to let any of those go. But this one is a 10. Next one, this guy is, uh, there you go, Wander Franco. It's his rated rookie card from Optic. So it's a chromish card, uh, rated prospects. I'm sorry, so it's not his rookie card, but it's his rated prospect card, excuse me. That's a 10. I don't have any of his rookie cards. Uh, I do have his first Bowman, though, in paper. Uh, I may send those off later on. But uh, this is the one I have right now of uh, Wanda Franco. And that is a rated prospect, and it's a Gem Mint 10. Next one. This guy's most likely going to be in the Hall of Fame, Miguel Cabrera. It's 
his uh, 2000 Royal Rookies uh, Futures card, uh, Gem Mint 10. I had a nine, which I sold, but uh, this, this one's not going anywhere. So but Miguel Cabrera Futures card, Gem Mint 10. Next one. Now we get into some of the bigger guys. Current. Juan Soto. 2018 Tops Update. Gem Mint 10. I have a couple of these. I've got one in a nine. Uh, I think I have uh, two or three more of these in a ten. But... Uh, He's calmed down a bit this year, but I don't expect that to hurt him later on. I don't think he's going to be a flop. I think uh, he's young and uh, he's very young, so he'll he'll bounce back. And uh, if you're smart, you'll go ahead and pick up some of his rookie cards now because later on they may be out of control as far as the price goes. But that's Juan Soto. Next one, <clears throat> this guy is on freaking fire. Vladdy Guerrero Jr. This is from uh, series two and it is the missing card number. I have another one of these in a nine, but this one I sent off recently and I was really worried because they've been grading so much harder uh, but this one came back a 10 so I was very very happy with that so this this guy right here well, he is just on fire okay and the next card <clears throat> another Vladdy Guerrero Jr. this one's the 2019 Bowman Sterling it is Rated a Gem Mint 10. It's a nice looking card. Very nice card. There's the back of it. I didn't show you the back of the other. Well, you saw them actually from the very beginning, I think. But uh, very, very nice card. And I love that it came back a 10. Those of you that were really smart started picking up his cards when they when he was uh, not producing as much as well, but uh, you're going to get a nice payback on that. 2019 Bowman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Prospects Chrome. Love that. Gem Mint 10. I love Chrome cards. So again, this one I sent the same time as the missing number. Again, I was a little concerned, but uh, it did come back at 10. So I feel very, very happy about that. Two cards left. And... Ronald Acuna Jr. It's his rookie debut, but it is his rookie. It's a nice looking card. And it did come back a Gem Mint 10, which is pretty awesome. I'm really happy with that. And then the last card. That too. Same card, except this is the gold. I was lucky enough to go ahead and get a gold version of this. A little bit of dust on there. And it came back at 10. So rookie debut, 2019, Ronald Acuna Jr., his gold card. And it came back at 10. What was that numbered? 1931 out of 2018. Really love that card. A lot. This card, actually, I remember I got it out of a 
Eric Jabs uh, break. So I was really happy with that. But uh, it's a nice card. And I'm sure some of you are saying, well, uh, what about uh, Fernando Tatis? What about the other junior? Well, I have some of his that are at PSA. Actually, they've already been graded. They have been mailed. Uh, they're at my other house. So later on in October, I will be there and I'll do a video again. Uh, it's a PSA break. Pretty disappointing uh, as far as the grades on a number of those. But uh, I did send off a few of the uh, Fernando Tatis cards. I just don't have any with me up here. So those are my 10. I have a few more. Uh, I've got some duplicates. But uh, these are the 10 uh, that I really enjoy. And let me know which one you think is your favorite uh, of all these 10. And the giveaway. Well, I'm going to be giving away this very nice Randy Ayers Arena uh, rookie card from Update last year. This was one of the cards to have. It still is out of this uh, series, I believe, is still the card to have. And uh, I've got uh, a handful of these, so I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys and gals. So this will go to somebody this next week. It's a very nice card. I'll get it in a top loader for you and mail it off very securely. Uh, PSA uh, has uh, listings as far as uh, the values of cards, and they have this one if it was graded in a PSA 10 is about 50 bucks. Haven't checked what eBay is, but uh, not bad for free. So what you need to do to get this card is to be subscribed to my channel. Uh, you have to make your subscription public. You will need to make a comment on this video. So the easiest way to do that is just tell me which one of these is your favorite. And if you want, tell me why. But uh, subscribe, make it public, comment on this video. Uh, Tuesday, all those who follow those rules, I will do a random drawing and the winner will get uh, the Randy Ayers Arena rookie card. Pretty simple. So get out there, go ahead and subscribe, make it public and leave a comment. And if you can like the video as well, that'd be even better. I'd appreciate that. So thank you very much. I hope you all enjoy those of you who are celebrating the 4th of July, enjoy that. And uh, I will talk to you on Tuesday. Take care. Have a great Sunday.